Hey artists, today you are going to get back your paintings that we've been working on the last couple classes. And off the supply tub you're going to need to get one black sheet of paper. That should be all that you need. And on the back of our black sheet of paper we need to put our name. I'm going to do it in white so you can see what I'm doing. Mr. Calvert. And I can flip that over. And today we're going to be adding three flowers and stems and leaves to our um, black sheet of paper. So at your tables, you should have um, some different tracers. Okay. You are going to put your tracer on top of the um, polka dotted piece that you want. So I want my this flower to be green with some orange polka dots. I'm going to carefully trace around it. So my pencil right now is drawing onto the green paper. Okay, so there's that flower, and I can cut that out. Very carefully. I'm going to work on just one flower at a time. So next, I'm going to need to cut out a stem for it. All right, so there's my flower. Okay, uh, my stem. I think I might do this red one. I'm just going to be kind of a curved rectangle, I guess. I like this. All right, and I can cut that out. That's going to be my stem. And then you might want to give your flowers a little leaf or two. So right now we can kind of see what this is going to look like. So maybe I'll put this one over here. Oops, not that. Like this. Okay, so I probably want to do a little leaf for it. The leaves are kind of this football shape. And I can cut that out. And I could glue that on. So why don't I do that now? So I'm gonna start with my stem. So we can get that where I want it to be. My glue works. And if your glue doesn't work, be sure to let me know. A little bit of glue on there. And I can flip it over, put that where I want it to be, make sure it touches the bottom of your paper, like this. Put some glue on the back of my flower. These papers I might have a little bit harder time gluing down because they're kind of um, curled up and thick because of all the paint. That one there, I'm okay if a little bit of it comes off the edge of your um, black sheet of paper, that's fine. And give it a little leaf. Maybe you want to give it a couple leaves, that's up to you. Okay, so there's one. I'm gonna choose another flower. So I don't wanna do the same thing twice. Or at least not three of them anyway. So I'm gonna do this one. I think I'm gonna do that one out of yellow. So once again, I'm gonna trace it. I'm gonna give it another um, stem and leaf and glue those on. This flower cut out, I'm gonna glue it down, and I actually think I'm gonna put something in the middle of this flower. You know, sometimes um, when we see pictures of flowers, they have almost like a little circle in the middle. I would also probably start off by putting glue on the stem. I almost messed that up. Glue that down. Put this here. Glue on my leaf. Notice too, my stems aren't always just straight lines. Sometimes I kind of curve them. And I think with this one, I'm gonna go back to that red that I had. I'm gonna cut out a circle. This. And I'm gonna glue that down in the middle. Kind of like this. Okay, I got one more flower to get done. When you get this far, you are all finished. So remember, you need to have three flowers. They should all have stems, and they should probably all have a leaf, okay? Um, if your glue doesn't work, be sure to let me know. It's a lot to get done today. 
If stuff doesn't want to stick to your artwork, you might want to give it a little back rub that might help it stick on there better. Okay. And when we're done with these, we're going to put these in the drying rack as low as they will go.